with the recent storm activity that we've had through California across through Phoenix area, the Salt River project is expected to increase their flows up to about 70,000 cubic feet per second. At a certain point, the plant is unable to divert water into the river. So what they are doing is they're gonna ramp up the flows into the wetlands to help abate that load that they're receiving through the river. So that could mean any, anywhere from where we're at now, 25 MGD, to pet potentially up to 190 MGD. The city does also have the capability of diverting water to the Palo Verde nuclear plant and uh, the effluent is used as cooling water there. So they have a couple different ways that they can abate the flows that are coming through the river. Okay, we're now into the second phase of the Trace Rios project, uh, the overall program. Phase one was a series of levees that were constructed to help provide flood protection. And this wetland here also serves as flood protection as well as environmental restoration. What we will do here is allow the city to discharge treated effluent and run it through a series of three cells here and we've got about a half a million separate plantings that will polish the wastewater as it comes through the effluent and then we can either dump the effluent into the salt river or we can put it into the overbank wetlands which runs about two miles to the west and it creates a habitat system for all different sorts of birds and wildlife and then we will as part of phase two build an additional pump station and 84 inch force main that will give the city even greater flexibility in controlling flows that are coming through the plant and then phase three will be in the river river footprint itself where we will clean out um, a lot of the trees and log jams that have built up over the years.